Looking for the best portable tripod? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Vanguard VO204AB travel tripod. I've been using this for a while now. I think it's fantastic. Stick around and see if you think it can earn the title of being the best. Make sure you watch to the end of the video where I'm going to take this baby outside and show you some real world examples of how you can use this super versatile portable tripod to get some wicked shots. Don't go away. Hi there, Barry Callister for Barry Callister Photography, giving you hints, tips and tricks for better nature photography. On this channel, I do gear reviews, camera tutorials, Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials and so much more. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Be sure to check out the links and show notes in the video description for more information and reviews on this product and anything else I mentioned in the video. But you are here looking for a portable tripod. There are three questions you want to be asking yourself when shopping for your travel tripod or your portable tripod. Is it small, is it light, and is it strong? You're going to be traveling with this thing, so you want it to pack away really small, you want it to be light so you can carry it long distances, and you need it to be strong because you don't want it to break the first time you get it out to use it when you're out in the middle of the bush. This little guy here, the Vanguard VO204AB, ticks all three of those boxes for me. It's an awesome little tripod. This thing will pack away to just 395 millimeters in length or 15 and a half inches and just 95 millimeters or three and three quarter inches wide. Small enough to fit in a backpack, your camera bag. It comes with this handy carry bag that you can put it in. This is built super tough. It's weatherproof to a certain degree and it has a handy little um, adjustable strap there so you can throw it over your shoulder or over your back and carry it around. It will extend to a height of 1350 millimeters or 53 inches, which is not super high, but it's definitely high enough. And it'll go down to as low as 395 mil or 15 and a half inches, which is really great to get down low with it. It weighs in at just 2.7 kilograms or just over six pounds. So seriously, you're not even gonna get benefits from doing bicep curls with this sucker. It is so light. You can carry it around all day, no worries at all. Though it's light, is it strong? Yes, it definitely is. This is the aluminium version. You can get a carbon fiber version, which is more expensive, obviously, but lighter. This is awesome though, built super strong. Everything on this tripod is built really, really strong. And it will hold, it has a weight capacity of four kilograms. I use it with my Nikon D5200 there and my 55 to 200 mil lens that you can see behind me. They come in at just over a kilo, so I've got heaps to spare. It'll handle your heavier cameras and lenses, no worries at all. This one has the ball head on it with the Arca Swiss style compatible quick release plate for getting your camera in and out super quick. It's got a nice handy little level up there so you can see when your tripod is on the level and it's got some handy little angle markings around the column here for precise rotations of the ball head. Really handy for your panoramas and stuff like that. The mechanism of the ball head itself locks in super tight. You don't have to turn this knob very far for, for it to lock in really solid. And of course, it'll flip right down so you can have your camera in portrait mode. Absolutely awesome. The clasps on the legs are very, very good quality. They lock off super tight. You're never gonna move those guys. And there's handy little rubber stoppers on the bottoms of the legs there as well. The legs themselves lock out to three different positions. You've got this one here and then <laughs> there. So it can get down really, really low, which is really, really handy. The center column though is what really sold me on this tripod. It will flip up, it comes up here, there's a button under here you push in and it'll flip to 180 degrees, which is of course so you can pack it away really tiny and get it back in the bag and carry it around. But also you can use it with your camera in there flipped upside down so close to the ground. You can get some great low perspective shots with this. Great for macro photography, it's absolutely awesome. And that is what actually sold me on this tripod. Um, these are just over $130 on Amazon, so a really reasonable price for a tripod that's gonna last you for a long time. I've had this for years, 
had absolutely no troubles with it. So a really great tripod, but you wanna see what it can do in the real world, so let's take it outside and see what we can do with it. Come on. Okay, so we're outside. Let's see what this tripod can do. Firstly, I'll show you how quickly you can set this guy up. So you just unlock that thing there. Your center pole drops down. You undo your three leg clasps. Pull them out on that leg. Lock them off. Do the same for this leg here. Lock it off. Same for this one. Lock it off. Place it down on the ground and grab your camera out. And then pop your Swiss Arca Swiss plate in there. You're done, ready to go. So now let's say you're out in the bush or you're out somewhere photographing and you've got a bank or a log like this one here and you're trying to get a photo of something like on the log. You, your problems with a traditional tripod that doesn't have collapsible legs like this one or angled, angled legs like this is you can't get in close enough because you're stuck with your three legs out like that. So what you can do here with your VO204AB is lock up these two bottom leg sections like so on two of the legs like that flip them out to their most ang their widest angle pop them up right on top of the log there and you can see i've now got my camera a lot closer to the log this one's supporting it on the ground and you can get in much closer and get a better angle on whatever you're wanting to photograph. Awesome. Okay, so now here, this is where this tripod really comes into its own. Let's say I'm trying to get a photo of this moss here on this root of this tree, and I don't want to get down on the ground and lie down in the wet. Little bird joining me back there. Uh, what you can do here is extend your center pole up, and you flip it down. Your camera, you lock that off, your camera's hanging upside down. Spin it round so it's facing the right direction. And then you can just up your legs here, just your two bottom sections of your legs. We'll get your camera super close to the ground. So we'll lock them up there like that. Pop it down. And you can see my camera is literally this far off the ground. That's gonna be an awesome point of view to get really close up photos of this moss. Fantastic, best feature of this tripod by far. So there you have it, the Vanguard VO204AB travel tripod. Is it the best portable tripod? I think it's pretty good. Why don't you let me know in the comments below. If you know of a better one, please share that in the comments too. Make sure you check out the links in the video description for more information and reviews on this guy and anything else I've used in the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'm Barry Callister for Barry Callister Photography. Get out there and take some wicked shots. I'll see you soon. Be sure to check out the links and show notes. Be sure to check out oh, the best thing you get me, see? Blah. It comes with this candy Harry. <laughs> it comes with this, it comes with this handy carry case as well. <laughs> candy Harry. <laughs> Who's Candy Harry? I don't know. The tether, the tether, the tether. For more information on this product and reviews and any and anything else I'll mention in the video. What is the water? And you could <laughs> uh, uh, maybe not.